Welcome to this Blender tip video. My name is Kent Trammell, and today we're going to be looking at a cool trick for Blender sculpt mode. And this came from a recent live stream where I was sculpting this goblin character who is posed asymmetrically. And this means that we don't have the luxury of using uh, Blender's symmetry tools. So if I were sculpting the head, for example, which is a very complex shape that will take a lot of time as is, I would need to sculpt everything individually, meaning sculpting the brow, adding the eyes individually, all of which means it takes twice as long and it's not going to be perfect. And so someone in the chat mentioned it would be really nice if you could sculpt certain portions of an asymmetrical mesh with symmetry. And that got me thinking that we actually can do that. And it's a bit of a hack, but it's uh, very useful. And so uh, if we jump over to object mode, I'm going to add a mesh monkey head and I'm going to move this into position to match the orientation of our character's head. Okay, so I want the center of the monkey head to match with the center of our goblin head. I want them to be looking in as close as the exact same direction as possible. Kind of like this, and it might not be perfect the first time, but the idea is this monkey head, if we turn off only render, has local orientations now that match the orientation of the goblin head. And so if I select our sculpture mesh first, shift select our monkey head, hit control J, our sculpture has now adopted those local orientations. So we can tap into edit mode and remove all of the monkey head elements. And in theory, if we jump into sculpt mode, now we are sculpting, let's see, actually need to turn on symmetry first and we're kind of sculpting symmetrically. You can see the brush happening on both sides, but the underlying mesh is not symmetrical. And so the behavior still isn't perfectly symmetrical either. And uh, it would be nice if you could just hit B to box select the head or mask the head, control I to invert the mask, and then use this symmetrize option in dynamic topology. That would give us a symmetrical head mesh, but as you can see, it um, completely butchers the body. And so unfortunately, the symmetrize tool does not respect the mask functionality in sculpt mode. That would be an awesome upgrade if it did. Maybe we could see that in the future, but for now it doesn't. So I need to undo that. And to work around it, let's Alt M to clear the mask. I'll tab into edit mode and simply remove the head mesh from the rest of the body. And I'm going to clean it up because I want it to be a clean edge loop for the most part. Hit P, separate the selection. And now just on the head mesh alone, we can go to sculpt mode, symmetrize. Now back to object mode and let's quickly combine these two. It, it doesn't need to be pretty, just quick and dirty. Control J, join the two meshes, select the two edge loops, and then space bar, bridge, edge loops. There we go. Back to sculpt mode. And I can turn symmetry off here and just clean up this connection. There we go. But most importantly, our head mesh is now symmetrical and we can sculpt it on one side, getting the other for free. And uh, so this is really great, especially for this example, um, being such a complex head shape, it would be really nice to make that perfect on both sides, which uh, I forgot to turn on symmetry. So let's uh, try that again. Start sculpting the cheek here getting the other side for free. So that can be a really powerful tool when it comes to sculpting asymmetrical characters. I hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching.